Pradosham, which is the thirteenth moon, is the single most important uh, uh, ritual to remove karma. It is due to karma that a person is wealthy or poor or sick or healthy or has a good relationship or a bad relationship. So everything is uh, conditioned or controlled by, by karma. And the best karma removal time is the pradosham time. It happens every day. Pradosham time is also uh, uh, occurring every day. The twilight time before the sunset is called daily pradosham time. So any uh, practice that you do at this time is very, very powerful. Uh, but if you miss the daily pradosham, you have to at least uh, do the two pradoshams with the 13th moon, which uh, occur during the waxing and the waning moon, waning moon times. Uh, between 4.30 and 6 is before this uh, uh, sunset. You know, you have to, of course, calculate according to the sunset times in your own place. An hour and a half before the sunset is the pradosham time. And uh, Pradosham time uh, is the time that Deva Shiva decided to relieve uh, the suffering of people, including even gods and goddesses. And recently I just visited a temple uh, here in Chennai. Now, years back I went there when the temple was in ruins and was under renovation. At that time I did not know why I was uh, asked by the Nadis to go to the temple. And now the temple uh, has come up and then there's a lot of people going there. It's a temple uh, of great significance because it is a temple where uh, Pradosham ritual was first started. Remember the Pradosham is a, a ritual in which there are two uh, uh, important uh, Abhishekams. Abhishekam is the pouring of water, milk, orange juice over the deities. The, primarily the Abhishekam is done to the bull, which is the vehicle of Shiva. The story goes uh, that the bull, who is not just simply an animal, but the most intelligent Siddha master, uh, he is only uh, has a, uh, another representation of him is a bull head with a human human body, and he is the number one Siddha master, and who is also the vehicle of, uh, of Lord Shiva. And at one point he had no peace of mind. And he has to go to different places uh, in the different galaxies and no, uh, no place he was able to find a peace of mind. And he came to this sacred spot called Koyambed. Koyambed is a small place in Chennai. Um, there, uh, when he came to this spot and there was a small Shivalinga there, he became peaceful. And the tradition says that this is where the Pradosham ritual on the earth plane was started. So to go to this uh, temple and participate in the rituals, uh, either by in person or by proxy would be very significant because this is where you can access the blessings of Shiva that comes through uh, the Pradosham ritual. This is also a temple where uh, the energy for the golden age is going to uh, come from. Because historically this is a place for uh, the beginning of the golden age. The Indians believe, like the Mayans, in cyclical time. Time is cyclical. 
we are now in a very bad period called Kali Yuga and it is ending and then it leads to the golden age. So the golden age energy is available in this temple. That's why the temple's pillars uh, are now the resting places for all the uh, masters. So if you go to the Coimbatore temple and look at the pillars, there is uh, an image of a Siddha meditating. He's really inside the pillar, meditating and working for the golden age to come for humanity, so that we are uh, we are relieved from our suffering, disease, and and death. That are the results of kali, kali age. Kali literally means uh, suffering, the age of suffering. We are going through the age of suffering and that's going to come to an end in 2012.